How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF and Tint, and today we are going to do the front door window tint on a Toyota Prius. This is a 2021, and we're gonna go ahead and install some film on the roll-up window, as well as this little uh, wing window, corner window, port window, whatever you wanna call that. Uh, Toyota, I kinda hate you for these windows. <laughs> these are a headache. And then this door panel comes up super tall. So you could remove the door panels, although I don't like taking door panels off because you end up breaking clips, especially when a car's got some time on it like this. A few years, uh, plastic gets brittle, breaks real easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and tint this with the door panel in place. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'll show you how I do this. All right, so first we're gonna get our piece of metal in here. And actually, let me grab a different one because we're gonna need to be able to use both sides of this and this one's got the felt on it to give me something to grab onto. <clears throat> so, so normally I put this shorter side down in the door, but what we're gonna be doing today is, is dropping this longer part down in there because when we bring it over here, we're gonna need it to still get really close down there to the rubber, although it, it doesn't go all the way, but we need to get as close as we can so that we can help tuck that material in down there. All right, let's get a mist on here, we'll roll it down, get a mist on the top, roll it back up. Now let's go ahead and razor blade this window. Uh, because this car does have a few years on it, I am gonna go ahead and razor blade these. Get down there as far as we can and then you'll notice i'm keeping my other hand really far away <laughs> and that's because uh you don't want to hit it with the razor blade i've done that <laughs> that's a good time then you gotta super glue your finger and get back to work let's just skip that part huh all right so now we're gonna take the our yellow towel and this tool here and swipe down these sides and get any dirt that's back in there. So I'm gonna do three passes so you can see all that. You know, that's all potential contamination for under the film. All right, that side's a little bit cleaner. And then let's get this top edge. There we go, right there. All right, so we've removed some, some of that contamination. I'm also going to take, let's see here, this tool and kind of try to get down in here a little bit, just to kind of try to break anything loose that could be stuck to the glass. Uh. There's just a line there on this. Uh, that might have been from cleaning something else, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully there wasn't that dirty down in there. All right, so let's give this a mist. Let's roll the window into position. So basically I don't wanna, I wanna get up as high as I can, but I also don't wanna block that whole corner. So I'll take it up to about there and that's still enough where I can shoot a little bit of soapy water in there. Now let's find our squeegee and let's get this window cleaned. All right, so I'm gonna go down the left side and then I'm gonna take everything else over to the right, making sure that I clean the squeegee off every time before it goes back onto the glass. There, I dipped down a little low, so I'm just gonna go back over that part where I dipped down to make sure I didn't leave any um, water behind. Okay. And then we'll take this down. I'm really trying to get that squeegee back in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and lightly blow all that down from across the bottom and then down that side, get a good mist on the whole glass. Let's get our pattern now. All right, let's get a good mist over this. Knock down any contamination that could be floating around in the air. Come down, I don't know, it looks about two thirds of the way. Give that a mist. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this very corner up here, not the very corner, but way up there with my fingernail. And then here I'm gonna, if you can see that hopefully, 
I'm gonna reach around and just grab the release liner there. That way I'm touching the adhesive as little as possible, if at all. All right, so when I install these, I like to go for the tall side first. So let's get this in. And then we're gonna put it in just like that. And let's get this side set in place. So I went a little low there so that then I can slide it up into place and it tucks in there real nicely. Okay, the top edge is looking really good already. Nice. <laughs> So you wanna get as close as you can, but you definitely don't wanna hang over the edge. So I did just push it up just a, just a tiny bit more. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna squeegee out about the first half inch to an inch on the top here. And I'm holding the film in place with my other finger here. Uh, so I'm holding up against uh, this uh, side of the window. I'm holding the tint, and then I'm also touching this top edge. And that's gonna make sure that the film doesn't move around. And if it does move around, I'm gonna be able to feel it. So I'm gonna know that it moved. So here again, doing basically the same thing without the edge to hold on to. But now at this point, if you're you know if you're not running too um, soapy, then it should just stay stuck at this point. I'm just making sure, getting nice good squeegees out here, and then I'm stopping about an inch short of the edge. And that's so that we can push this water up and out instead of pushing it over, catching dirt, and then coming back down and getting all in this line here. Just helps minimize that. Okay. So I'm getting that whole inch squeegeed out and then way back in there as well. And then we'll go ahead and roll this up. And then now we've got the bottom exposed, which we weren't able to uh, clean with the squeegee, so we're gonna go ahead and spray that down And then let's remove this liner Okay, and then we're gonna have to kind of hold the film out so that it doesn't rub all over the door panel there and then with the With the gasket wizard all the way over there We'll go ahead and make this angle here and make the film sit nice and flat on there and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of roll that under and towards the glass so that it's not just flapping right here and hitting the panel. And this part, we're gonna go ahead and try to keep this as flat as possible and just slide it in there. And that'll give you the, the least amount of kinks while you're trying to push it in and you know, you're know you messing with the film as little as possible. Okay, as we come across, you can see, I'm just kind of guiding the film down in there. And now we're gonna get over to a point where we need to get this piece of film flat up against the glass like the other side. So let's get that angle on it and then kind of try and tuck it in here like this. It did come up a little bit high up there, so we're going to have some air pockets to deal with up there, but that's not going to be the end of the world. It basically, you know, where I squeegeed out to, it broke loose and came out up higher. Okay. Or came off the glass up higher. So let's get this tool now and just gently making sure I just wipe that off, that it doesn't have like any grit on it or sand, wipe it off on your shirt. And then we can push this down. And then if, you're, if your shrink wasn't good on the bottom and it's kind of curling up, you can go across like that as well. Will help with that situation. If you're a pre-shrinker, I'm a pre-shrinker, so. All right, so I'm kind of trying to get all this pushed out. We're gonna get rid of the air and the majority of the air in the water. I'm not putting a lot of pressure with this squeegee or with this tool because I don't want to scratch the tint. Okay, now let's get that misted down and we'll go ahead and get all of that uh, water out and air pockets. So I'm using quite a bit of pressure with this one. And as you can see, only about a quarter of the squeegee is going over new area and the rest of it is you know going over the area it's already been pushed down so it's just going to be one pass with this like that and then that's going to be down and squeegee it out plenty that we don't have to go back over it again all right so let's go down this edge now with one of these white cards and really twist that card while it's in there so i'm actually taking the card putting my finger behind it and pulling it you see that twist and then i'm going down like that 
So, you know, I really go through these cards because I really twist them while they're in there. Okay, we'll go down this side a couple times here. Now that bottom part, we're gonna have to do with a different tool. So I'm going to try this one here and let's just be certain that the film is on the glass and down, which is great. So there's just a little bit of water and air pocket right there. Oh, and then I've got some air pockets here where that popped up. Unfortunately, some moisture didn't come up with it and we left a little air. Let's take care of that first. So I'm gonna go over that with a different card here and just push really hard. And then the other thing that you can do is grab some water from an area and push it in there. And then let's just go around and hit every single one of these bubbles and get all these little white spots. Um, run across them with this, with this little bit of water here. And basically we're making all these little bubbles go together and then pushing it out. Okay. I'm just gonna go over that again from the inside with more pressure. All right, now let's take care of this bottom section here. All right, just try to get it way down there and below the rubber. Okay, that looked pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swipe or a pass with this as well. So back here I'm getting behind the rubber I'm just going over with it. Then we'll try a couple downwards too. It's really difficult if you get like a crease or something in there, it's gonna be really hard to get that stuff to push out to get the air out. So we wanna do, be really careful not to damage the material back in there. <laughs> it just makes it really difficult. Put this guy away. All right, I'm just gonna run over the uh, panel here with this towel and dry some of this water off now. Okay, because we are gonna get it a little bit wet again while we're doing that window there. And this towel's really wet. Let me go grab a new towel. When these get too wet, they start leaving a ton of streaks in the film. When you're, uh, like if I go ahead and just wipe this down and you see that it's leaving streaks, I don't know that you can see that, but I'm seeing that it's leaving streaks. Those are gonna dry and then look like streaks. So um, we need a drier towel. I did see just a tiny water bubble there. I'm just gonna push out now. All right, just the tiniest piece of, I can actually feel piece of contamination there, but we will check that on the outside. It's very small. Okay. All right, new towel. All right. This is a good idea to go over your work, double check everything. Make sure you don't have you know, a problem that you're not gonna be able to recover from so that we can just keep moving on and then we'll come back and clean all this up in, at the end. Okay, that's looking really good. No hairs, no water, no air pockets left behind. There's a couple little specks here I'm seeing that of a little tiny contaminations. There is the tiniest little fur. Um, I call it a Furby. <laughs> but that is just the, I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see that. But that's the, you know, very small little piece of lint and we'll be able to get that out without a problem. Okay, let's see if we can get a better angle here for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get this window cleaned and then we'll put a piece of tin in there. <sighs> these are gonna take a lot of practice. If you're new at tinning windows, expect these to be a disaster. Even as a long time installer, I run into issues on these windows and I also will live with a little bit more contamination and damage to the material while I'm tucking it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little bit of this rubber just to make sure that we have a nice, easy, a little bit easier install. Terrific. I mean, that's a little tiny amount. Nobody's ever gonna notice that. And it will definitely help the install. Okay. Now let's get that all wet. Get that all wetted down and let's get a 
scrubby pad way back in there. Just really get as much scrubbing back in there as you can. Now let's go ahead and we are gonna razor blade this one still. Just try to cram it back there as far as you can get it. And sometimes you can take and leave a bunch of blade out and you can get the blade to run kind of flat on the glass up there. See how I'm just uh, making the blade contour and then this whole part is running real flat on the glass and that'll help you, you know, scrub or clean that top part that we can't really get to. All right, so now let's wet this down again and we're going to go ahead and squeegee this out so i'm going to take this over and down and then we're going to bring everything over this way okay and then let's see what we can do for getting down like that it's just they're really tough it's a real awkward little windows and you know just anticipate it's gonna you know compared to a roll-up window this is gonna take more time and it is going to be a lot more difficult to learn every part of doing these little windows so I mean you know there's all kinds of things involved with this right the cleaning the the scraping with the razor blade the break making sure that all the the rubber is broken free from the window because you don't want to have a piece of rubber touching the glass that's stuck to it so you want to stick a tool like i know with the razor blade and with my squeegee in there i got underneath all the rubbers and broke them loose but you can also take a tool like this and poke it back in there and make sure that that rubber is broken free from the glass otherwise the film won't be able to tuck in okay so we're going to give that some mist down now this top part up here we're going to give that just a little a mist this is more of a flush than a mist but the going upwards we just want to mist up there because we don't want to catch any dirt that's way up there and have it run back down the window all right look at this i've every other window went first try except for one of the windows i did have a uh, issue because the patterns were turned around the wrong way and they looked like they were they were for the wrong side anyway because <laughs> they were turned like sideways or something so I did have to use one extra pattern. But the installs all went very smoothly, so let's hope that this one does the same. Follow suit. These are kind of questionable. Normally I like to have a couple of these cut out because it's easier just to do it right at the beginning. Then, you know, if, especially if you're not using up any extra material, you can just fit them in somewhere. So what I went ahead and did is I set that bottom in. That way we're not dealing with the panel here and bumping into it. And then I push the top in, and then we're going to go ahead and push that up into place. Like that. And actually, that's going, that's going really well. <laughs> Just not always the case. All right, so let's get... So I'm going to pull that... I pulled that back, basically. And then once I laid it flat on the glass, so I pulled it back, and then it just slid right in because I've got the rubber kind of pulled back here. Okay, that went great. That went better than the other side. All right, let's go ahead and squeegee this out. So I'm gonna hold this in place with my thumb. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure right there. Like it's basically, I'm pinching it and not quite as hard as I can because it's not really hurting my thumb, but it is, I just wanna make sure you understand that I'm putting a lot of pressure right there. Enough that it's making a flat mark on my finger when I pull it back out. So it's a lot of pressure to make sure that I don't move this pattern around with the squeegee. Okay, so we're just kind of giving this a good squeegee out in the bulk of the area. And now I'm giving it, putting a bit more pressure for this time around. And because now I'm pretty sure that that's fairly stuck in place. So I can give it more pressure now and I can work on the edges a bit more now. So we're going to stick this up behind the rubber and go over and down. And then let's go over and down again. Okay, now we're kind of going to need to look on the outside for this one here. So I'm going to get up here 
just get just make sure I get way up in there so I'm gonna go back past the rubber over here with this with this little card and then up past and up into here with it and that makes sure that I'm pushing all this out and I'm watching to make sure I don't grab the film a weird way or that it starts to kink up and fold over and crease on itself and then we're gonna go ahead and take this one down again you can see that we're not quite to the very edge of the glass there, but we're but we're really close. And that I'm definitely gonna be fine with that on this one. Because when I put this in here, I can actually see the edge there too, but it doesn't leave a light gap inside. So we're about over as far as we can get. And from the inside, you can't see any of this. So that's good. There's no light gaps from the inside. It's like a, it's a tough one because you can cut the pattern a little bigger. You're gonna get make it so much harder to install. So, um, you know, that might bother some people. I don't know. On this little window, I'm super not worried about that though. Great, goodness gracious, that went better than the other side. Awesome. <laughs> Seriously, it's not very often that uh, things go better when I'm recording. <laughs> It's it's almost just complete opposite of that where it goes worse when I'm recording <laughs> So that was a nice change there. That was nice. That went super easy All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clean the whole window now or all the windows wipe them down Okay, get the panel good and wiped down you don't want to leave any water on here that can leave streaks because that is not a good look for the customer just get everything good and dry. So back in all these grooves here, I'm making sure that I bunch the material up in there or bunch up some of the towel. So this is actually like bunched up like this. And then I just cram it into that recess and make sure that I even get that recess good and dried out. Because once you pull this car outside, if this just has a drip that goes down, I mean, customers don't like seeing that on their door panels. Just looks like you weren't being thorough, right? Okay, so we got this on. I think there was, yeah, a little tiny thing to clean up here. There's a couple little things here. And then this went super good. We've got like the tiniest couple little specks right there. And maybe one right there. Okay, let's go ahead, get this open back up. I'm gonna get up here and do what I can to clean this guy up here. Oh yeah, it's not even, it wasn't even specks of dirt. It was just, still hadn't had a, potentially had a, this card go across it hard enough to push out the little tiny little things of air that were in there. And I mean, they were super small. So was that, that's not even a piece of dirt. Okay. Oh wait, no, that one is. Tiny little speck, we got that cleaned up. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So you can, you can heat these up or I just use the bone stick and I'll try doing this without heat first. If they don't go down well, then I just, then I go ahead and get heat and put heat on these dots. So I'm just running over them and I'm looking for them to basically disappear. So they will be a little bit silver right now and then when I run over them they'll lose their silver and go to just darker and disappear so I'll just keep running over them until they disappear and you want to be careful with this tool here because it can scratch if it gets a rough edge on it it doesn't even take much of a rough, rough edge I mean anything that you could feel or something it's just this you know a tiny rough edge and you can be going back and forth on the film and just leaving scratches on the inside. So I'll take a tool like this and I'll actually um, go like this like in the middle on my shirt here or you can do it on your pants like if you're wearing jeans. I don't really like doing it to my shirt quite as much because it actually kind of leaves a line and you know I don't want to like mess up my shirts. You can also do it on your pouch. Just make sure the edge stays nice and smooth. Okay, so we got those ones pushed out. This, the majority of where your problems are gonna be is down the edges. That's gonna be like, 
majority of where you're going to find contamination. And then out here in the middle, it should be way less, way less. So if you're finding a lot of contamination out here, then you're not doing a good enough job cleaning. You might want to start razor blading all your windows. You're just not doing a good enough job cleaning. This is all just stuff where dirt can come in or when you were installing the tent, it was bumping up against the rubber here or something and touched and picked up a little bit of contamination, stuff like that. Out here in the middle, you shouldn't be having that issue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this little, little tiny lint here. Push the air out of around that lint and then it's gonna just disappear at that point. And this spot up here where I got those tiny little air pockets, there's still some real tiny ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push across them, minimize them, and then because they are so small, they're going to dry out. When it dries, it's not gonna look milky like it does right now. I mean, we would prefer that this didn't happen, but we're past that point, right? So let's just correct it and move on. So now the other thing that's good to check is when you do have an issue like this where this popped up, you want to roll the window down and check up here and make sure there's no air bubbles up there. Okay, so I got that little lint is completely gone. All that stuff's cleaned up. We're cleaned up on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close the door so that it's more dark behind it. Like if I'm doing it like this, I'm actually looking through the film more and that makes it really hard to look at contamination in the tent. So I'm gonna close it. It's even better with the other door closed, which is open right now. But this is still much better than having it open because you're actually looking at the tent and it's much easier to look at the tent. And you're looking for any silver dots. You just kind of run a brighter area of the room, like this door here. I will run that and just look in the section where that door is in my view. And I'm just looking for any silver. I don't know, can you see that guy? There's a little, a uh, little tiny lint there. And I like to get every one of these if I can. I mean, it's a real minor, right? I mean, a lot of people, or some shops will probably just leave that even. They're not gonna put this much effort into it, but I think you get, you know, just for a couple minutes worth of time, you get a much cleaner install and you, you know, your customer never finds an imperfection in your install, which doesn't mean they aren't there. It just means that you hit them, right? Because perfect isn't a thing. Okay, I mean, because I can honestly say I've done just a couple perfect windows in, in my career. Uh, and I mean perfect, like poof, nothing, zero problems. And I even had other installers and other people come and check those windows to tell me if they were perfect or not. And only a couple times, I think twice maybe, did I have a window where there was zero touching I had to do to it after the install. All right, great. That's it, that's wrapped up. Fantastic. Well, hopefully you found something helpful there. If you did, give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.